We could have the world to ourselves Going to a place that's far Staring at the stars for hours Cause you're a renegade I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape Where we're going, buddy? To a museum that has dinosaurs. Yeah, buddy. You excited, Luggy Bear? Luggy Bear, where are we going? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Did you have a national park? Pass? I don't. Are you headed to any other park? Mm -hmm. Left turn will take you right to the visitor center. There's longer hey, spots Mama. in the back. Oh, we doing yes, dinosaurs. Okay, awesome. Thank you, ma'am. A thousand smiles that fill my glass. They make it so it's almost half filled. Only you can do this. Only you can do it. Just hold me till there's no more pain. And talk me right out of my brain. Well, All right, we're at the Dinosaur Museum waiting on the shuttle to go up to the quarry. You excited, Luke? Yes. Awesome, man. Cool. Yeah. It's a lot to see in me. Stay there. You give me a free time. You give me a free time. When we set out on this trip nearly two weeks ago, we did not really know where we would end up by the end of the trip. The Dinosaur National Monument was a spur of the moment thing that we decided to do primarily for our boys' entertainment. But this place was equally fun and educational for both mom and dad. What you're seeing here is a rock quarry filled with over 1,500 dinosaur bones that are nearly 150 million years old. All of our senses were heightened as we got to touch, feel, and gaze in awe at the remains of these magnificent creatures that once roamed the earth. Stick our hearts in a box, they'll stay there, stay there. You give me a free time, you give me a free time. Just say the words and you'll be mine. You get me every time, time, time. You give me a free time, you give me a free time. Just say the words. Look what you see, bud. Pycnograph. Pycnograph? Oh, yeah, look at those. Looks like some turkeys and a deer, and that's crazy. Wow, that's cool. These picture graphs and what are they? What are they? Pteroglyphs. Pteroglyphs and picture graphs? Pictographs. Pictographs. Pictographs has the color. Those are painted. Those are painted. And the other one is? Pterographs are carved. Pterographs are carved. Okay. So this is a pterograph. But this is, yeah, this is a pterograph. This is wild. The Dinosaur uh, National Park, just more than dinosaurs, people were obviously uh like this area oh, yeah, look what a thousand years ago yeah. it looks the, fremont like there's a little the fremont people a thousand years like ago were engraving this stuff right into there. the into the rocks out here yeah. wild crazy 
All right, so we finished up the Dinosaur National Monument on the Utah, Utah side, and now we're on the Colorado side. And pretty cool view up here. It's 31 miles up here to the top. As you can see, there's some snow-capped mountains out there. Pretty cool ravines. We're going to get some lunch and then head east. I think we're going to head to a steamboat, maybe. We'll just have to wait and see. What's for lunch? Good looking. <laughs> Whatever we got left in here. Okay. Got some sandwich meat. I'm going to have a salad. Boys are getting tuna fish. We're down to slim pickings. Boys got some tuna fish, Lunchables. Mama's got, what do you got, a salad? Salad. Okay. And I got a little wrap. Mm. So, boys are in the shade. Just enjoying some lunch. Yeah, pretty cool. Lots of trails to check out. Hiking trails and off-roading trails. There's actually a trail down there in the bottom of the ravine that you can go on looks looks pretty cool um but with uh, what time it is i think we're just gonna get back on the pavement and head on east start working our way east well we had a rough time finding uh camp last night didn't we luke yeah went up this uh buffalo pass everything was taken to the very top they had the last gate um well a couple gates into it were closed they had a sign that said five miles gates closed and we got up near the last gate the gate that was closed and we found a spot we got out and the mosquitoes were just terrible so we were scrambling around it was getting late and we made it here to the koa um in steamboat springs which is pretty nice um we're not we're not a campground kind of people but hey you know some people love it at least they got you know they got water and get a shower and you know they got a, a pool and putt putt and a lot of different things to do so we've eaten breakfast this morning i just came down here to the river and uh, it's it's beautiful. You got a got a nice view of the ski resort, and uh, yeah, we're about to go into town and check it out. I think we're gonna hit up a hot spring, and uh, yeah, try to have some fun today. Walk around downtown and go from there. But you know, sometimes it doesn't always work out as you plan it to. So we're just rolling with it and we really got only a couple more days until we got to start heading back. So I just want to give you guys an update. So Jenny, where were we just at? <laughs> um, there's a hot springs. I think it was called the Old Town Hot Springs. It was nice. They the had... Old Town Hot Springs? I think so in the downtown part of Steamboat Springs. Just was, right on one end, it looks like on the ski resort end. I think they just finished renovating it. It was really nice, they had a um, dead kitty area. They got these really um, shallow pools about two feet deep from one end to the next with these little apparatuses they can climb on and basketball hoops and they had these slides and like this little splash pad that they could play on. So the kids loved it. The best part is they actually had child care for $7 an hour. So we uh, definitely took advantage of that. Daddy and I sat in the hot springs, the real hot springs, for about an hour without any kids. Which And the kids had a blast. It was blissful. Yeah, and they, yeah, they had a blast in the little play area they had. 
So they got a gym there, they got a rock climbing wall, um, they got a regular pool, you can swim laps there. You know, I highly recommend it. It was nice to see um, kind of a down day for today and just kick back, relax, get some sunshine and let the kids have some fun, let some energy out. Had a good time. Real nice. Two thumbs up. Good job, Logan. Well, one of the fun things about KOA, we get to do a little putt-putt action. No, Huggy, no, no, no. Having a, <laughs> kids are having a blast. We're in there, Am. We're in there, Logan. You got it, buddy. There you go. Good hey. job. How did you hit? Oh, oh, so close. Luke, what happened? You just went it down through here. Through there? Yeah. Here, look, it's my ball. So the ball just disappears? No, it comes through this little. It comes through this block. Oh. <clears throat> yep, when you're at the last hole, your ball disappears. Nope. There it goes. See, it oh, goes. you got it. Yep. Popped out. Cool. All right. Man, KOA has got a beautiful piece of property here in Steamboat. I mean, gorgeous. You got the river, which I don't remember the name. Can't remember names these days. We got a little creek here that goes into the river. And then you get up here and you got the view of the ski resort. And they got a little bridge that goes over this thing. I mean, it's, it's, uh, this place is crazy. <laughs> Gotta be expensive piece of property. <clears throat> but not bad. There's not a whole bunch of choices. Um, Black Bear Pass, like we talked about, had to get up 9,500 feet. Mosquitoes were thick as thieves. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. But uh, we got one more night here, and we had a great day, man. Had a great day at the uh, the spring, the hot spring in downtown. And tomorrow, I think we're going to hightail it over to uh, Rocky, the uh, Rocky, Rocky, whatever. God, I can't talk. <laughs> 